Hey, that's mine. Don't touch it. Can I just have one bite? Fine, but just one. Okay, so we have one bite. Can I do this in one bite? It looks to be about six inches. Quite a lot of girth. My best is five, so that would be a PR. Should I go for it? Yeah, let's go for it. What is going on guys, Will here, welcome to the video. Today is gonna to be a vlog. Hopefully you guys had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And speaking of Christmas, I wanted to show you guys what I got for Christmas, so follow me. Got some pretty good goodies, and it kind of reminded me of the fact that I'm actually an adult now. So, first thing is I got myself, slash my parents got me, some Tupperware, which is so exciting. So I got some Tupperware here. I got a lottery ticket, which I won $40, so it's pretty much my enough for my donut order. And then I got, uh, what is this called? This is called a kettle. So I got a kettle because everyone was roasting me for the fact that I was using a pan to heat up my water. And then the big gift was this DGI Pocket 2. So it's kind of like a GoPro. You attach it to your phone. It's like a mini camera because when you carry the big camera around all the time, it's just a, a you attract a lot of attention. So I kind of don't want to do that all the time, especially in restaurants and stuff like that. So these are my Christmas gifts. And you know, so Christmas went by, New Year's went by, so a lot of big dinners went by, and I want to see the damage I put on. Luckily, I'm not a big fan of like traditional Christmas foods like turkey. Like that meat is so dry and you really gotta force it down your throat and the kitchen is not the place for that. So we are gonna see where I stand right now going into the new year. All right, so that's not too, too bad. So that is that, gonna get my day started. Gotta do some cardio and then we're gonna make some breakfast. So I'm just outside right now about to do some skipping. So you guys know I like to do 20 minutes of cardio every single day, but the gym in the condo is shut down so I can't use the rower, the elliptical, or the treadmill. So gotta make do with what you got and the skipping is just really good for calorie burn. Get some fresh air, get the heart rate going for a second time today. Alright guys, so it's time to make some breakfast. So we have all woken up to some pretty unfortunate faces in our lives, but with this breakfast, Ronald McDonald will not be one of them because we are making a healthy sausage and egg McMuffin or sausage and egg McWill. I don't know. So we got some fake natty low-fat cheese. I found the lowest calorie turkey sausages I could find at the store. So for one whole one of these, you're looking at 120 calories, five fat, one carb, and 18 grams of protein. Whew. Still trying to catch my breath from the skipping. Don't underestimate 20 minutes of skipping. And then we're gonna go in with 100 grams of egg whites. Then got a couple of English muffins. Gonna put this all together right now, cook this up, and then head to the gym. All right, so step number one, you wanna remove the meat from its casing. We're gonna free the meat and stuff a muffin, like my traditional morning routine. And then, boom. So the calories for both of the sandwiches are 565 calories, 64 grams of protein, 49 grams of carbs, and 13 grams of fat. Gonna top it off with my sugar-free sugar daddy, G. Hughes. He may be a bit old, but he knows exactly what I wanna taste in the morning. He has perfected his craft. So it's really good macros, and you don't have to worry about getting meat from a clown. And look at the cheese just dripping out both sides. That's just a sign of a job well done. That is hard to beat in the morning. Super set with some coffee. Oh man, that's succulent. So we're gonna enjoy this and then head out to the Blue Star Gym today. So it's an hour away. 
plenty of time to digest and we're actually gonna go for one rep max today. Not my usual setting for one rep max, but very curious to see where I'm gonna be at. Hi, can I get a medium dark roast black, please? And then can I get one honey dip timbit? One honey dip timbit? Yep. Yeah. That's everything. Thank you. It is Timbit Tuesday, guys, in honor of Ollie. He hope he's gonna help with the one rep max. So we're gonna make Timbit Tuesday a thing on the channel. So you guys are in Canada, or if you have a Tim Hortons nearby, Tuesdays are for honey dip Timbits. All right, so heading to the Blue Star Gym, like I said, to try my one rep max on the bench press. So I've tried it before, like four years ago, and I think I think I hit like 320 pounds, but the form on that looked like it was like an exorcism. Like my back was like freaking like, I look like a damn like, what do you call one of those things? I look like a damn bridge, you know? So I'm hoping today it's gonna be around 335. Like that's my goal. But with this Timbit and Ollie's power, 340, 345, I don't know. So the gym's like an hour away. And the reason why I'm going is A, because it's probably the sickest gym I've ever been to in my life. And B, because they have the Thompson fat pads, which is like just ideal for one rep max. gym is so sick I wish this was my tiny 10 10% off anything blue star link in the description all right guys so it's time to bench press this is the bench press I'm going to be using like take a look at this pad it's a damn mattress thick wide looks like a medieval torture device so for the warm-up, I'm gonna do around like 10 reps, then maybe do like five reps, three reps, and then start doing singles all the way up till I get to a weight that I think is my one rep max, and we'll see what I get to. So I'm just a couple warm-up sets deep and I feel so weird benching on such a wide bench. You have so much more support with your back. And especially when like you're down here and you come forward, you can actually feel like the bench right here, which you don't normally feel. So I'm just trying to get used to it before I add like the really heavy weight. Okay, so that was five reps, 225. It felt really good. Probably gonna go to 275 now for three. And then probably around maybe 315 for one and then slow increments up. Felt good, felt real good. All right, so we got 315 on the bar for one rep. This is gonna be the telltale sign right here just to see how much I'm actually gonna be able to put up. Spotter, hardly know her literally because I have no spotter. But it's all good, we got these little thingies on the side so if it falls, I'm safe. All right, so I just watched the footage of 315 and it looks super smooth. Probably the smoothest 315 has ever looked in my life. So I put 330 on the bar. And when you're going for one rep max, you gotta be very careful with your jumps. You don't wanna do too many because you could be able to hit a certain weight and you might not be able to get to it if you do too many jumps. So I'm gonna see how 330 feels. 315 was super easy, but I know even just like two and a half pounds on a bench press is a lot. It's hard to even add that much. So we'll see how this looks and we'll see if we can go up from there. Okay, so that was 330. Way harder than I thought it was gonna be, so I think I'm gonna end it there. So that's my one rep max currently, is 3.30. So we are at this beautiful gym. Tons of equipment I've never used before, so we're gonna go play around and have some fun. Okay, so I did 15 reps, 12 reps, 10 reps. Now I'm on my top set, I got four plates, gonna go for around eight to 10, around just leaving one rep in the tank. Okay, 
Okay, so that's the chest. So we go chest, back, chest, back. Gonna go and do our main row of the day. That's deceivingly hard. Super hard. Okay, so just wrapped up the incline machine press, and I'm moving on to the last thing for the back, which is just a lat pull down. And take a look at this. 300 pounds, it says grinds on it. So I'm assuming Regan grinds to IFBB Pro was uh, playing around with that, which I'll try for my last set and probably miserably fail at it. But again, we're gonna try. So for this, we're gonna go 15, 12, 10, probably add in the drop set and then go and hit some biceps. It's all about the one rep max. So we did the bench press, now we're gonna do the lat pull down, 300 pounds. So that is gonna wrap up the workout. So I hit 330 pounds on the bench press, so a little bit less than what I wanted, what I expected, but you know what, it's progress. And I'm super happy about that. Even if I hit like 325 and only added five pounds to my bench press over four years, I'm so happy because you know what guys, fitness takes time, whether it's the weight that you add in the gym, the weight that you lose on the scale, the muscle that you gain, you know, fitness is a journey. It doesn't happen fast. It's not easy or else everyone will be doing it. So just stay consistent and you'll reach your goals. I guarantee you that, you know, just enjoy the process. It's the most important thing. So I'm gonna go back to the car now, hour ride home and then and make an epic dinner. All right guys, so we are back home now and it is time to make some dinner. So when you think of a bodybuilder meal, like a staple bodybuilder meal, you think of chicken breast or rice and potatoes, and it's pretty boring, it's pretty bland, so how can we spice it up? So today I'm gonna show you guys how to spice up a chicken breast and how to spice up a baked potato. So we're gonna be doing stuffed potato and a stuffed chicken. So we're gonna be doing some stuffed chicken breast with ricotta cheese, some spinach, and some sun-dried tomatoes. So the first step is you gotta beat your meat. So got my mallet here, got my chicken breast, we're gonna put this onto the thing right here and just Go to town, you know? Okay, so the chicken is pounded. What was that? It's ready to get stuffed. So we're gonna add the ricotta cheese to my spinach here. So I just had some frozen spinach that I left out this morning just to thaw. So two of those little nuggets of it. I'm gonna tear my scale. I'm gonna add in a quarter of a cup of ricotta cheese, which is 60 grams. There we go, so 60 grams. Now just around a teaspoon of egg whites. It just helps bind everything together. Just eyeball that, perfect. And then for some seasoning, we're gonna go in with a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, AKA a lot of salt knowing me. Garlic powder still works well too. A little drizzle of that. And there we go, so that is the ricotta spinach stuffing. We're gonna open up our chicken breast right here. We're gonna place that right into the middle. There we go, perfect. And last but not least, we're gonna add our sun-dried tomatoes on top of that and then fold the chicken breast over. I'm just gonna put it right on top of the ricotta cheese. Perfect, now we're just gonna fold it over. Just like that. So I have the pan preheating, and now we're gonna let this simmer for around four to five minutes per side, and then pop it into the oven that I have preheating at 350 degrees for around 10 minutes. All right, so chicken is in. Now it's time to shift gears, and now we're moving on to carb mode. So I have my baked potato here, 300 gram of rusted potato, and we are gonna now stuff it and enhance this thing. So I'm gonna cut it in half without burning my hand off. 
good. Now I'm gonna scoop out the insides into my bowl right here. Oh, maybe that is hot. That's hot, fam. Okay, so potato is in. Now it's time to add our beloved Greek yogurt again, guys. It makes its way into any dish that I actually make. So going with 50 grams of Greek yogurt, it's gonna add that kind of like sour cream-ness that we need without adding the calories and just adding a little bit more protein. So 50 grams, good. Up next, we're gonna add in a laughing cow cheese. Now this is a cow that likes to have a good time. It already looks baked, so we get twice baked. So one of these things is 25 calories, and this is pretty much replacing the butter, the cream, everything that you don't want in your body. This is replacing for only 25 calories. I can hear it laughing. Right in. Now we go in with a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and then obviously we gotta go with some garlic powder. And then I like to add some Cajun seasoning. So I just have this ready-made Cajun seasoning. Just put a little bit in. And then I typically would add some scallions, but I don't have those. And that is the filling, guys. Now we're just gonna mash it all up together. And the uh, laughing cow cheese really kind of melts into the potato and adds a lot of flavor. And really enhances just a, you know, just a boiled potato. That tastes so boring. You know, you guys really have to enjoy your food. All right, so filling is done. Now it's time to put it back in. Okay, potato is good, and this is pretty much cooked. All we have to do is let it kind of crisp up in the oven. So conveniently, the chicken is already ready to go. So I'm gonna add my potato back onto the pan that I took it out on. There we go, and now I'm just gonna add the chicken to the same. Good, and now we're just gonna plop it into the oven for 10 minutes, and by 10 minutes, we have a full-blown, beautiful dinner. 10 minutes later. Ooh, that is a nice looking piece of chicken. That is a good looking baked potato, my friends. Looks like I'm staring into an Instagram feed. This thing just looks divine. So the calories for this dish, both potatoes, chicken that's stuffed, you are looking at, pull up the notes, my friend, 820 calories, 82 protein, 92 carbs, and 14 grams of fat. This is a lot of food, not that many calories. Anyone can make this fit into their macros. Like that's enough for two people, the potatoes right here. I mean, normal people, I think. So recipe will be in the description as always, and this chicken just looks delightful. Can't wait to get into it. Given with what I'm equipped with, chickens are probably the biggest thing I'm able to stuff. Well, that is some tender poultry, man. Oh man. You're just taking a chicken breast, and you're just injecting it with trend. We're just, we're just taking it up a notch on this channel. So the reason why I seared the chicken breast, if you guys were wondering why before I added it into the oven, is because the searing actually adds a lot of flavor and actually locks in a lot of the flavor as well. The browning adds a ton of really good flavor. So highly recommend you do not skip that step. Okay, potato time. All I'm getting is that cow laughing at me. It tastes like rich, tastes buttery, creamy. It tastes like it's bad for me. I'm gonna flip it around, hit it from the back. My fish look like they've gained some weight. I'm feeding them twice a day, but I mean, it seems like they've really put on a belly. You gotta make sure to savor those sun-dried tomato pockets. Those are a thing of beauty. Delicious. Just watching a little bit of TV and now I am craving something sweet. So we're gonna have a rare guilt-free happy ending in the form of hot chocolate. So I could have a Halo Top, I could have like a low calorie ice cream of some sort, but they still have a lot of calories, like 300 to 400 calories for an ice cream pint is still a lot to fit into someone's macros, regardless if it's considered healthy or not. Will, I'm not gonna eat the whole entire pint. Shut up, you are, okay? So a good option or alternative that I have been enjoying is just to have some hot chocolate. So I got these Rollo hot chocolates and per one capsule, it's only 60 calories. And these are very, very sweet and they definitely curb my sweet tooth. They definitely curb my sweet tooth. So I'm gonna have one of those and uh, wrap up the night with that. And then we're gonna have a little bit of a talk. It's like if a Rollo finished in your mouth. So I just wanted to end this video off with a little bit of a talk and to say thank you to everyone who's shown their overwhelming support 
about what's happened with Ollie to me and to my entire family. It is an honor knowing I have such a big support system from all of you guys and there's so much love and I cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much, it has really helped me. Uh, you know, it just shows that this is the best community, best family on YouTube, hands down. There is no comparison, absolutely no comparison. And a number of you guys have messaged me saying, you know what, Will, take some time, you know, just, you know, be with your family and we'll always be here for you when you come back. And I appreciate that and I understand that, but at the same time, I'm not gonna stop. Back in the day, I would have let something like this ruin me. I would have let it take me over. I would have let it really, really put a dent in my life. And what you gotta realize is that Every person at one point of their life is gonna face a battle. But the most important thing is that in the midst of that, you don't lose yourself, you know? Uh, 2020 was a tough year for a lot of people and it sucked. You know, lockdowns happen. You can't, you're out of your normal routine. It's very hard to find motivation and there's a lot of things bad that happen, but there is no lockdown unless you lock down. You gotta push through some of these tough times and you will make your way out of it. Uh, so going into this year, I'm gonna push harder than ever. I am going to make the best videos that I can tried to teach you guys some fitness, some cooking, some fun. That is my goal, you know, and I'm more motivated than ever. And my goal with 2021 and my goal with YouTube is to give people what I wish I had when I was younger. When I was younger, I was overweight. I had, I was disgusted with myself. You know, I would be that kid who went to the water park with his shirt on because I was embarrassed. I'd be that kid who would go up to the cottage with his friends and I would take my shirt off, but I'd face the other way so no one could see my front side because I was embarrassed, you know? But then I had that moment of realization that people are waiting for when they're overweight to make a change. And you know, when you're young and you don't know what you're doing and you listen to what a lot of people say in fitness, it's a dangerous place for a young kid, you know? And you can very quickly go down a dark spiral and that's what happened to me. You know, it started off good and then you just see the scale and you get addicted to the scale and you lose a bunch of weight. And that's what happened to me. I lost over hundred pounds in like five months. And I was two different people. I was the person talking to you right now, but then I was the person in my head thinking about food, you know? And I know a lot of people who watch my videos are in one of those two spectrums. And I know when you're in it, it feels like it's impossible to get out. There's no escape and that's where you're gonna be. But I just wanna show you guys that that is not your forever. Like just because you're not happy with where you are right now does not mean you cannot change. I used to be afraid to present to a class of 10 people in high school. I'd mumble my words and now I'm doing this. Like I just wanna show you guys that there is a light at the end of the tunnel and you can make a difference, you can change. And I wanna be there for you. I wanna be this support system. I want this to be a channel that you can come to for motivation from people in the comments or, or from me in the videos. I want this to be a place you can come and learn. I want this to be a place that you can come and laugh because one of the most powerful emotions of a human being is to laugh and smile. That takes away days and days of sadness if you just laugh for a couple of seconds. And I hope I can provide some of that twice a week for 20 minutes. So, you know, that is my goal, just to give people, you know, what I wish I had. And I want you guys to see me as a friend, you know? I know you guys don't know me, like personally, but I want you guys to come to this channel and just kind of see me as a friend and just know that the support you give me, I, I really want to try to give that back and, you know, that is my goal coming into 2021 is just to, you know, give you guys more free content, give you guys more information. You know, I'm gonna experiment with myself, find ways to make getting in shape fun, you know, because it's fun. And I feel like a lot of times it's misunderstood, you know, get creative in the kitchen, have fun with your workouts, don't overdo it, enjoy your life, go out for restaurants, have a good time, experience life, it is a beautiful thing. So. Gonna end this video off with a bang, literally, and I'll see you guys in a second. So Katie and I took apart the sex swing, and as you guys can see, we have a pinata here that says 2020 filled with, filled with candy, and I'm about to obliterate this thing into next year. It's giving me its full consent. So I'm gonna wish you guys all a happy new year and a good start to 2021. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.